Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Leo. It's your turn. It's your turn. So, what do we have for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? For June. This is for June. It could happen at any time in June. I've already done a couple readings for May. They'll be tagged at the end if you want to watch those. But this is for June for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. What do we have for Leo? Ooh, handshake. A meeting with a stranger could be important, so you may have a very important meeting this month. That's what it looks like to me. What do we have for Leo? Oh, that one wanted to come out. We have to take it. Ooh, messenger. So there's, there, you're go, we have a messenger here. You're going to be receiving a message from somebody. Um, interesting. Very, very, very. Ooh, I got to show you what's on the bottom. Wish granted. So there is a wish that is being granted for you. So this is really, 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 really good. Pay attention to your Facebook Messenger or any other messengers that you have. There is also, uh, you could be receiving a message from anybody that you are getting. A, obviously, a messenger could come from any different direction. Okay, so I believe that, uh, I feel like you're going to be connecting with somebody on some sort of online messenger, honestly. I feel very strongly about that could be Facebook Messenger, maybe Snapchat. I don't know. I don't have that. Um, but I think that you're, obviously there is, or you could, you, there could also be a person that gives you a message from another person. Do you know what I mean? So, interesting. You're going to be collaborating with somebody. That is shaking hands or taking somebody's hands. As was, that is a partnership with somebody. Making an agreement of some sort. Ah, High Priestess. High Priestess is somebody that is very, very spiritually or spiritual. Spiritually connected is what I was going to say. This is somebody that is highly intuitive. Could be a tarot reader, a healer, a medium, uh, a psychic. Whoever this person is, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with, this person, somebody here has a gift, is very, very gifted. Um, this is a healer of some sort. This is somebody that is very self-sufficient and... Uh, goes within uh, very very spiritual we have a this is a, a very mysterious individual as well hmm. let's get one of these Some of you uh, are probably dealing with a, a spiritual, I don't know, I was going to say guru, guru, and I can't say it correctly, or, or you're becoming one. You could become a spiritual teacher. You know, maybe you're going to be teaching spirituality or you're leveling up on the uh, spiritual plane, you know. It's a very spiritual energy here. And when I see the high priestess, the high priestess has an ability to call in things, you know. So you may have called in something. You, some of you may be receiving a message from a healer or a tarot reader or the psychic or the medium like I, that I talked about. 
I would really pay attention to that message because whoever this person is, this person is very, very gifted. You could be the messenger. Either way, we have a gifted individual here who that has a message for you. Intuition. Wow. Maybe you're the gifted individual. Maybe you need to listen to your intuition. You are highly, highly, highly intuitive at this time. There's no doubt about it with that intuition card and messenger. You're probably receiving messages from your spirit guides or from within or from your gut. Maybe you're the messenger. Maybe you haven't been listening to your gut. You haven't been listening to the messages within. You have a gift. Maybe you don't know that you have a gift. Maybe you don't believe that you have a gift. But I feel like you have a gift. I feel like you have a gift and I feel like you're going to be dealing with somebody. Maybe you're dealing, maybe it's me telling you that you have a gift. Anyhow, there is somebody here that has a very strong gift, okay? And maybe you have messages to share with the world, okay? Uh, I feel like it is time for you to open up. I feel like you've been re going within. I feel like you have leveled up spirituality and you are vibrating on a high level, a very, very, very high level. So anyway, let me just read that intuition card, but we all know what it means, but we, we did it for the others, so... Night has fallen in the spirit of the Greek goddess Selene, symbol of the moon and in intuition, pauses in peaceful contemplation. She awaits the guiding voice of inspiration to move through her as she seeks the answer to her predicament. An answer is going to come to you, and a wish is going to be granted. You, I know that it is. Anyhow, on her right shoulder sits a dove. A constant and familiar presence and a spirit messenger linking the realm of insight to the mortal world. The river beyond glistens in the light of the moon and like the unconscious mind contains hidden secrets and new life beneath its mysterious silvery surface. The guiding light of the mother moon by her very nature echoes the cycles of womanhood and feminine instinct. Intuition means to look within or contemplate. In drawing this card, you are being prompted to do just this. Seen through the quiet lens of meditation, intuition can lead you to your own knowing. Everyone possesses intuition to varying degrees but it does not thrive well in the domain of excessive thinking and analysis. While the intellect has a vital place, this card reminds you to look within for the answers. Knowledge is taught, and by contrast, intuition is caught. Visualize your mind as an empty chalice to catch the messages springing from the foundation of intuition. Since knowledge expounds outwardly, while intuition listens inwardly, by listening you are more likely to reach wise decisions in the face of adversity or any situation in need of clarity. All the oracle cards carry symbols which have been designed to trigger insights. The intuitive faculties for this card are no exception. Look for any clues in the symbols or colors that may have specific relevance to your question. So, obviously, you are you have a question. You have a question that you're looking for clarity on. You're waiting for an answer to come. You're waiting for the message to come. The message is within yourself. You have the answer. Okay? This answer has to do with a partnership because of the two hands. You are going to need to go within. The gift is within you. Nobody else can give you that answer. You have the answer. You have the the answer. T 
take a time out to reflect. That's a peaceful time out. That's not with your kids. That's not with your family members. That's not at work. That's a peaceful time out alone. That's not talking on the phone or going through Facebook or any of that. That is complete silence with the phone 20 feet away. And sit there for an hour. And your answer will come. What do we have for Leo, dear God, angels, spirits, and universe? What do we have for Leo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus? Developing your gift. This is how your gift develops. Now, when I just read that card, and I said, you know, knowledge is taught. I don't read by the book. I don't read these, these cards by the book. I don't. Not these, no. I go by my intuition. It's not about going by the book. That's taught. That's somebody else's experience. That's not a high priestess. Look at the card. What do you see? That's how I read. That is what they're trying to say. What do you see? What do we have for Leo? Two of Swords reversed. This is in in denial, but coming out of denial, exposure, uh, lies being exposed, some sort of exposure here, blocking emotions, blocking the truth, in denial. Somebody's been in denial. They have been unable to see the truth. They've been struggling with a choice, struggling with a decision. And it's and I don't know if there's been some sort of fantasy here or fakeness. And, and, I, and I hate to say that, you know, and I am Leo rising in Vedic astrology. But I was going to mention my nails at the beginning of this. And I said, I was going to say, no more fake, no more fake. And but I always say, Every part of my reading, every, everything that comes out of my mouth is part of this reading. So I stopped myself from saying it. No more fake. Wow. Ooh, spur of the moment decision. You definitely have to make a big decision. You have to make a choice. Do you want to stay within this spot or do you want to move forward? I feel like you have an, an option. The whole world is in front of you. You have an opportunity here, but you're struggling. You're struggling with some sort of truth. It's almost like denial. You are in some sort of denial over a situation. This is denial. This is really struggling and, and choosing not to see. You see the blindfold over this person's eyes. I choose not to see the truth. I don't want to see it. I'd rather block it. I don't want to believe it. I don't want to see it. I don't want to accept it. I'm going to block it and pretend. Two of Wands is a decision, a choice, focusing on the future. You're at that crossroads absolutely right now. Twos are about taking that next step with faith and trust. Two, two, two. Two, two, two. Three twos. Twos are faith and trust. Two is also use your intuition. Follow your intuition. This is about a partnership. It is about a foundation. It is about a choice. It is about a change. It is about a union. It is about the need to take that next step with faith and trust. And be authentic. Twos are about authenticity. You need to be authentic. Be authentic with yourself. You can't live in denial. You can, but the struggle is going to continue to be there. 
Anyhow, the two of wands is two paths, a decision, an option. You know, the grass is greener over there, but you've got to take that step. Twos are take that next step. You go from one to two. You know, you've got to take that step. It's time to take that step. Sun, happiness, extreme happiness on the other side. You know, this is when you step into unknown territory, when you leave the past behind that has been blocking you. This has been, something has been blocking you from your goals. And it's your own choice because you're, you're the one that has been choosing not to see it. You've chosen not to see it. You've chosen not to listen to your gut. Maybe you've been listening to what the books say. Maybe you've been uh, listening to tarot readers. I don't know. Anyhow, you have a bright future ahead of you, a very bright future, very, very, very bright. But it comes after you open your eyes to a situation. I mean, that two of swords reversed is a delay. It's, you know, it's time to see the truth. I feel like there's some overwhelming fear or worry about what everybody is going to say. Don't let fear get in the way. I feel like you've been emotionally guarded in some way. It's time to open up and step into unknown territory. And you're going to be given an opportunity to do so. There's no doubt about it. This is a new day. It is a new beginning. This is beautiful. It is joy. It is bliss. It is a breakthrough. It is a yes answer. This is uh, beautiful. Okay, this is a blessing. This is being accepted. This is healing energy. It is a new day. Okay, it's a new beautiful beginning. It is the birth of a new life. It really is. But the, but the, but the choice is yours. Twos are about choices. You're going to have to make some sort of choice. Are you ready? Are you ready for this happiness? Are you ready for this beautiful new beginning? Are you ready? Are you going to be held back by fear? Because I don't know if that's fear or what. Or blocked emotions or something. This is held back. This is definitely held back. You need to unblock, okay? You need to unblock your heart. You need to unblock yourself from whatever you're choosing not to see. You need to open your eyes because you have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful opportunity. Beautiful. vibrating at a, a extremely high level you're going to be shining you're going to be glowing people are drawn to you during this time i'm not kidding oh, queen of pentacles now I'm, I'm not sure if you're dealing with a taurus virgo capricorn you could also be dealing with another leo um but you do have somebody here that is has something for you this is somebody that is stable this is a solid opportunity uh, this is somebody that works really hard if you are a male watching this this is this is somebody that it could be a business owner or a business woman uh, this is somebody that uh, is a homemaker uh, very very devoted very nurturing uh, for some of you that we could have a mother and a child here we could have uh, a birth, you know, a pregnancy, somebody getting pregnant with that the sun card next to the queen of pentacles. The queen of pentacles is a mother, um, but it doesn't have to be. Whatever you got here, you got a new solid opportunity. This is beautiful. This is stable. It is real. This is real. It's really, really real. Some of you may be getting a really, really good offer from somebody. Um, this is going to lead you, it's going to give you an opportunity, okay? This is a golden opportunity to go in a new direction. It is extremely positive, extremely. Um, you're dealing with somebody who ha is going to be making you an offer. It's, it's right here. Somebody's going to be making you an offer, but it will require you to step over the edge. It will require you to open up and be honest. This is being honest. You got the reverse. You got to be honest. You need to, uh, 
Stop yeah. focusing on the past. You need to focus on the future. You have a bright, bright, bright future where there's warmth and sunshine and love, and abundance. This is abundance. So you're gonna, you are definitely receiving an opportunity. You're, this is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful opportunity. There may be some travel involved. There could be some travel involved with this opportunity. Woo! Queen of Cups reversed. Ah, and the devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Could also be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But you, there's some sort of temptation here. There's a need to master your emotions. I feel like we have somebody here that um, can't master their emotions. You need to ground yourself. You need to get grounded. There's a lack of groundedness. And that's why I said go sit outside for an hour. You need to get grounded in the sun. In the sun. You need to go sit outside. This is grounded in the sun. Go sit outside in the sun. Okay? You need to master your emotions. You need to manage your feelings. I feel like you're not grounded. You need to get grounded. There's some sort of toxic situation that you need to remove yourself from. Um, it's not healthy. It's holding you back. I don't know. It's It could be an addiction. It could be drinking. It could be I don't know, anything anything at all there's some sort of uh, addiction here lust um, and when I say lust people automatically think sex okay so lust is more than just sex lust could be materialism it could be ego it could be it could be sex lust is something you don't need but you think that you do okay you don't need it it's only instant gratification it doesn't last Okay, I feel like you have been uh, driven to go after things. Maybe it's because of ego. You need to step outside of that ego. You need to master your emotions. You need to ground yourself. You need to come back down to reality. Master your emotions is a big deal here. I feel like there's some sort of toxic uh, behavior that you need to manage. And I feel like uh, you need to heal from this. There's some sort of healing that is needed. Uh, that devil card that is a that that's in the future you need to not let and you know the devil was is a fallen angel so you need to not let the, any type of opportunity that you are getting go to your head okay don't let it go to your head and I and it happened and I'm not saying that it's just you okay every sign I mean we all let it go to our head Okay, sometimes we, we get we get the money or we get the gold or we get the prize and we let it go to our head. You know, the devil is certainly that type of energy. So I feel like you need to really ground yourself. You need to master your emotions and do not let any type of success go to your head. Be humble. You are going to be receiving a beautiful opportunity. This is something that um, you manifested. This is beauty. This is manifestation. You manifested something really solid, really stable. Um, but I feel like there's some deep heartbreak here or sadness or not listening to your intuition because that's not listening to your intuition, you know, and maybe, you know, that's the devil energy. You know, the devil doesn't the, wants to keep you in a dark place. This is darkness. This is light. So I feel like you need to... Uh, remove yourself from a dark situation. You need to uh, accept. You need to have faith and trust. The two two twos. You need to have faith and trust in an opportunity that you are receiving. Okay, you you have an opportunity that is going to be put right in the palm of your hands. Okay, this is something that could last, that could make you extremely happy. But if you don't have faith and trust in it because of some toxic situation in your past, then you're going to lose the opportunity. Don't let your feelings of the past or whatever has happened get the best of you. I, I see emotional heartbreak here. I feel like you've been heartbroken by a situation um, where you don't trust, but you're going to need to open up and have faith and trust in this opportunity that you are receiving. I feel like uh, this is something that can bring you instant gratification. Yes, I do. I do think it can bring you instant gratification, and I think that you're going to want it, and it's going to look super good to you, okay? It's going to look really, 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 really good to you. Um, and, I, and I feel like I... 
You're going to need to take a time out to think about this because of fear. Okay, I think there's fear, fear of, of uh, getting your heart broken or getting stomped on or something like that. So, let's keep going. Ah, more and more and more. There's going to be some messages. There's going to be, you're going to be receiving messages. There's your messenger again. Okay, you're going to be receiving some messages from somebody. They're going to get more and more and more and more. They're going to increase, okay? Somebody's going to be communicating with you, and they're going to be communicating a lot. It feels like it's an earth sign to me, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I could be wrong. Could be a Leo. Uh, I feel like, I mean, it could be a water sign, but I don't think so. I feel like it, it's a water sign that has deceived you. Honestly, I'm being honest with you. Or somebody that has a lot of water in their chart. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I think there's somebody here that has deceived you. You need to not let that person hold you back. Okay? You have an extremely beautiful opportunity here that you should grab onto it and you should run. Okay? Run with this opportunity. Good luck.